Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial series. This is the tutorial for the distillation tower, which is this block I'm holding here. And to make this, you will need to be at least into extreme voltage. So you will have to have made stainless steel and titanium at this point. Um, you also need neodymium. And you will need Teflon for making the circuits here, which is the polytetrafluoroethylene. And we are going to build that today. You start with the distillation tower block, front, bottom, center, and then your energy hatch. I'm going to put over here on this side. If you do it exactly for the minimum requirements of hatches, you will need 40 clean stainless steel. You will need five output hatches. They can be any uh, size. I'm using MV. One MV output, a maintenance hatch, and one input hatch. Now I want the input. Oh, that's the output. I want my input hatch on this side. Let me bring up the distillation tower here. You can see that it says the one input hatch needs to be on the bottom. So that's where we put it. Now the maintenance hatch I'm going to put over here. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And then my output, I'm going to put at the bottom because the hatches need to go straight up above that. So you just stack these up. And that is your six high. This structure is a three by three by six, the tallest in Greg Tech 5. And we want them all coming out that way. They do not have to be in a straight line. They do not have to be on this side. You can wrap them around if you want. Whatever is easiest for you for piping. And then fill everything else in except for the center. The center will be hollow all the way up except for the very top. The top will get closed off. You will use a ton of stainless steel making this. And if you choose to do as we did here on the server, oops, And down it goes. You will actually, let me throw this on so I can get up here. Need two of these towers. You don't have to, but if you do it the way we chose to do it, you will have two towers, so twice as many resources. And then cracking unit to go along with it. And in my video that's coming out today, I will be plumbing up the heavy fluid, the heavy fuel from there through here into here, and then outputting on this side. So that is how it's done. If we look in here, it'll say or it will not say that there's an incomplete structure, so it is correct. Then we just need to do all the maintenance on it. The 
check and make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, I missed the hammer. Okay, we didn't miss anything. And give it a whacking. That enables it. You always have to hit them on the first run to turn them on. And now it is ready to go. So I will show you some of the recipes here. And that will be the end of this tutorial. If your main thing you're wanting is to make oil, which or make diesel fuel, which is probably not going to be the first thing you want to make with it. But if it is... Then, all right, what am I doing wrong here? Uh, let's do it this way. This is the first step, which is what my other distillation tower is doing. It'll make sulfuric gas, naphtha, light fuel, and heavy fuel. And then you will have to purify each one of these to get the sulfuric acid out of them. Which will give you refinery gas, naphtha, light fuel, and heavy fuel. And then what we're doing, the reason why we're having two... Is we are running the heavy fuel back through after it goes through a cracking unit we'll have cracked heavy fuel and then it'll go through the distillation tower which will give us hydrated coal more refinery gas more naphtha more light fuel toluene toluene and lubricant now, if we click on this, this will show all the recipes, and you'll notice that all of them are within medium voltage range except for one, which is why we chose to go with medium voltage. You can do fish oil to lubricant. You can do oil to the things I already specified. You can do biomass from forestry into ethanol wood pulp and water the heavy the cracked heavy fuel which I showed creosote into lubricant this is the one that you need high voltage if you want to do IC2 biomass to biogas with a byproduct of fertilizer and water and then you have cracked light fuel which will then give you the same thing as what oil would, except you get the toluene instead of the light fuel itself. Seed oil to lubricant, and then oil again. You can also use it to distill water, and then oil again. So that is the tutorial for this. If you have any questions, Feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope this helped you out. Have a great day.